What's up guys? Sprinter Doctor here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I just want to show you what happens when a battery sits, uh, gets discharged completely and sits for days and weeks at a time. Uh, what happens is the plates become sulfated uh, when the battery uh, discharges. That produces, you know, lead sulfate. But once that sits for a long period of time, that lead sulfate uh, instead of remaining uh, soft, it will crystallize on the plates and drastically in increase the resistance of the battery. And then when you try to charge it, it will, the battery will just get really hot and it'll, most of the time, it'll start putting off um, like this rotten egg type of odor. So in this instance, I had a sprinter get towed in, the engine was, you know, damaged. And so uh, the, the vehicle sat for about three months with a dead battery. I uh, did try to charge it, but to no avail. Uh, the battery temperature got up to about 160 degrees, and of course it would not take a charge. So I just wanted to show you this battery. This battery is 150 degrees. So just FYI, keep an eye on that. So if you're gonna be storing your RV or your Sprinter for a long period of time, you definitely wanna keep that battery charged up uh, or either put a trickle charger on it so that way your battery don't go dead and sit and the plates get sulfated and then you have to end up replacing your battery. And also I wanted to share with you Romans chapter 10, verse nine. It says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys because when I got saved, it totally changed my life and I feel like it could change your life too. And so uh, love you guys. Thanks for your support and hope that helps.